what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we got confirmation that uh marco beltrami will unfortunately well i won't say unfortunately he will just not be returning to score the upcoming screen 5 aka scream from radio silence um spyglass media and paramount pictures they're not going to be bringing him back to do the score we have now got the confirmation of what many of us have been speculating about i've already talked about it once before on this channel that brian tyler who scored ready or not he will be the one coming up with the score for screen five this is confirmed in a recent article that came out i'll leave a link to that down in the description and i just want to kind of talk about this really quick i know marco beltrami is kind of like woven into the dna of this franchise i've only ever had an issue with his score in one of the films and that unfortunately was screen four the score in and of itself was good he is a great composer but at times in screen four, I felt that the score was made for a different movie than what was being placed on my screen. Some of the cues and some of the sounds, they were fitting for the film and other ones sounded like they were made for a different movie. They didn't they just weren't matching uh, all the scenes the same way they were with the third, the second and the first film all before that, because he is a phenomenal composer. That score that he has come up with that we all know and love for Sidney Prescott's character and the rendition that we get at the end of scream 3 when she's finally let when she's finally able to be set free from all of these past demons that have been struggling her that's one of my favorite pieces from him um at overall he's a great composer i'm not really necessarily too thrilled that we will not be seeing him return to score screen screen 5 but i pretty much am not surprised honestly i didn't hear many rumblings about this and brian tyler was the first person who posted something about screen five on his instagram page that's what post that's what sparked these rumors that he would be the one composing the film score because why else would he post it other than of course he he's still a person he's not just a he's not only defined by his the fact that he's a composer he has the right to post whatever he wants to post if he's excited about a movie coming out then he'll post it but brian tyler will be the one coming up for the score in this film he is someone who i am very much pleased with when it comes to film composer he has done the score for again ready or not if you want to get an idea of what you could expect go rewatch that film also if you've watched angelina jolie's recent film those who wish me dead he did the score for that too he's done plenty of scores for plenty of films that i'm sure many of you have seen he's not that he's not bad at all when it comes to being a film composer there's definitely an emotional weight that his score brings to certain films specifically the one that i just got done watching those who wish me dead with angelina jolie he definitely makes some he he definitely his music will definitely make your uh get the get the motions going in you they'll they'll definitely get you going in that in that respect so i'm hoping that what we see in screen five will be something that really pulls at our heartstrings at certain scenes it amplifies certain things being displayed or portrayed on screen in certain instances the way that any film score should uh and it just makes it becomes like its own character in a way that's what i hope that's every, that's what i would hope to see from a score that's accompanying any film that it becomes in and of itself like its own character now that doesn't happen with all movies the scream movies i would feel like are an example of that the score in the scream trilogy it's amazing his music and the stuff that he comes up with to put in these films during these sequences it is very amazing they for the most part tend to match what is being portrayed on screen in a rather magnificent fashion other than of course what i have stated earlier i feel like with screen four it was a little bit of a downward spiral no pun intended uh for, for those of you who saw spiral i thought it was like a downward spiral in respect to how certain certain scores and certain cues and certain pieces that were made for the film they didn't seem to match what was going on on screen it felt like certain aspects of the score at the time were made for a different movie now again screen 4 overall has a has another phenomenal score but there are certain instances where i'm like is this really for a horror film i don't know it just felt bizarre to me no complaints from the original original trilogy though so i hope what brian tyler has to offer to the table is something that will live up to what marco beltrami does even if it's not i wouldn't necessarily go into it wanting to compare the two they're both going to do their own thing both have very different styles i would hope that what happens is we get a lot of re renditions or recreations of what marco beltrami has brought to the table with his past work on the on these films so i would like to see what brian tyler's take on sydney's theme is i would like to see maybe he has a take on that little cute music we hear whenever dewey and gail are around each other we probably won't hear that in screen five but 
the music that we heard in Scream 2, I would like to hear that again in Scream 5 if these two have an interaction of some sort uh, that would rival what they did in Scream 2 with that music that they would play when they were together. I've always thought that music was very fitting with their interactions during the second film. So hopefully we get a rendition on that. And maybe, who knows, he'll probably come up with something that will have something to do with Red Right Hand. Um, I don't know. I'm really looking forward to see what he has to offer. He's not a bad film composer at all whatsoever. And like I said before, if you want to get an idea of what you can expect from him, go watch Ready or Not. Go watch Those Who Wish Me Dead and plenty of his other projects because his film compositions are not bad at all. They very much so assist with creating the emotion when it's needed. They assist with creating tension when it's needed they assist in amplifying all of the things that they are going for in certain instances in the films that i've seen his scores placed in uh they're magnificently well crafted in my honest opinion because i listen to the ready or not score not like religiously but i remember after that movie came out i could not stop thinking about the score because i just thought it was a great component to the film so i can't wait to see what he has to offer with screen five and again my most my the thing i'm most looking forward to here with him is his rendition of sydney's theme i know for i don't know for a fact what i say is i i hope that we'll get a rendition of sydney's theme from him and maybe we'll even get of course some new things thrown in there to match what the carpenter sisters are who they are so who knows what he has to offer us we'll find out sooner or later as things come up closer to the end of this year when they start the full marketing campaign and when brian tyler starts teasing us with what he has to offer for the film coming out next january on the 14th so let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section um i know brian tyler replacing marco beltrami might not be the most exciting news for you guys but at least marco beltrami is not being replaced by someone who i don't have good hope or trust in i don't know about you but i have trust that he will put on a phenomenal score just like marco has uh, but again let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video